welcome everybody. It's great that you've taken the time out to participate in this conference. Um, I want to wish everybody a happy Chinese New Year, uh, uh, happiness, prosperity, and good fortune. And um, uh, I hope that uh, you, uh, after you hear about our presentation, that brass can gold will be uh, part of your portfolio. Uh, can you begin the slide presentation, please? Keep going. Next slide. Okay, so brass can gold. What I want to tell you is, what is brass can? Well, that means Brazil and Canada. Okay, we have properties, gold properties in Brazil and Canada. And we intend to uh, explore those and develop those properties. Um, we have uh, now Brazil we, is uh, a, a very good and interesting opportunity. Just generally, as a country, has not done very well economically la last few years. Its currency has been debased. It's at a very low price. Labor is cheap, and one can make very good mining deals for very good properties in Brazil. So there's a more risk in Brazil, but there's much more reward. We are looking for elephants, multi-million ounce deposits. We're looking for resource, gold resources in the ground. And we're looking for gold production where we can actually start to produce. So those are the things in Brazil. Now, Canada, we're in Newfoundland and Newfoundland is having a modern day gold rush uh, in the last few years because of a major discovery by Newfound Gold. That company's valued at about 1.2 billion today, high as 1.5 billion, 1.6. As a result of that discovery, 30 to 40 uh, more companies have joined in and therefore the Newfoundland Gold Rush. Newfoundland is considered to be one of the top 10 jurisdictions, mining jurisdictions in the world. And it's absolutely true. The government is pro-business, pro-mining. We get all our licenses, everything we need, permits. It's fantastic. Okay, so next slide, please. Yes, right now, in fact, it closes tomorrow. We are doing a unit financing at 30 cents per unit. Um, the company's uh, symbol on uh, the CSE is BRAS, B-R-A-S, B-R-A-S. And this financing is at 30 cents for a share and two warrants will buy you another share at 40 cents for two years. It's basically fully sold out. We're closing tomorrow. There's a bit of room. So after you hear this presentation, if you want to buy in at 30 cents with a warrant, now is the time. The stock last traded at 50 cents and it's been high as 69 cents. So um, uh, I believe, you know, and uh, that this is an amazing bargain at the last minute to get in. We've already raised $2.4 million, a little bit over, and uh, we're gonna raise more money. And we raised that money in January when the, the market was going through some turbulence. Okay, so as I say, uh, if you want to buy, buy today, uh, we close tomorrow or you can buy tomorrow morning. Uh, Gilbert will tell you how to do that. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, time to invest in gold. We started Brass Gang Gold two years ago. We started in early 2020. Why? We believe that gold was gonna go up. In fact, in 2020, it went up to 2067. And now it's, uh, it's basing around $1,800 an ounce, but the last few days you can see that it, it is trending higher. We believe like uh, major uh, analysts like Goldman Sachs and Sprott that the price of gold will, will go as high uh, or even higher than $2,150, which is a, a new all time high. So when I say for brass can, timing is everything. And it's time to invest in gold. Next slide. Okay, now we're in Brazil. I'm gonna cover this first and we'll get to Newfoundland where maybe more of you are interested, but this is a huge opportunity 
because of uh, the factors in Brazil, the current economic conditions. We have a property in Para State called the Allegra property, and this state is very um, positive for mining as well. It has a skilled workforce, infrastructure, electricity, water, road, road access. Next, please. Okay, now this is very exciting. This rock, we just got a picture of two days ago from our Allegra Gold project. This is amazing. This rock contains over two ounces of gold, 66 grams, and this came from our Allegra Gold project. There is gold uh, everywhere, and there are local miners pulling out millions of dollars worth of gold every year. However, they have not gone below about 30 meters and below that is bedrock. And that's where we're planning a major drill program uh, in April and May after we do geophysics uh, to see where the anomalies are in, in, in this area. We're focused on where this rock is and it's amazing, but uh, it, there's gold disseminated throughout this rock and it's 66 grams of gold. So, um, this just came out, it's fantastic. It just shows you the potential of the Allegra Gold Project to find a multi-million ounce deposit, industrial scale, and that's what we're looking for. Next slide, please. Okay, this is a pit where it was found. It's a north wall. You can see the saprolite and there's gold in there. Um, it, it's, uh, it's amazing. So uh, as we say, we're delineating, want to delineate, discover, or delineate a gold resource of industrial scale gold production. Uh, and there's already small miners there that are pulling out one kilogram of gold per week, which is amazing. Okay, next. Oh, they only have 50% recovery as well. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, that's a, a location where, where the uh, property is in Brazil, it's up in the north. Okay, next slide, please. Now, this is a very important map. This is a proven gold district. And if you look, the yellow, this yellow on the map is our Allegra Gold Project. We are surrounded by major gold companies. Uh, right next to us, our neighbor is Kinross Gold. And we have others. But very interesting, look at the yellow. If that's Oz uh, Gold. And you see that they've, they've already discovered what they believe to be the largest undeveloped gold deposit in Brazil. And it's trending towards our property. So this map shows you that we're in gold country. We're with major gold companies, world-class gold companies that are surrounding us. To the north, where the green is, that's gold mining, which has a deposit as well that they're working on now. And so the yellow uh, part of the map is where we're going to be doing um, extensive work starting this month. And we're, uh, we're gonna be doing airborne uh, to, to find uh, anomalies on our property. We're, we're focused on where the gold is and where that bedrock is that we wanna drill. So in about 60 days after that, there's gonna be a major drilling program right there on the Allegra Gold Project in this proven gold district. We're very excited because we're surrounded by Big companies were surrounded by companies with lots of gold. Next slide, please. This is a, another example of, of gold. This gold goes for 7.5 kilometers from where the uh, gold is with the guy in Paros. So we have seven and a half kilometers, and uh, you know we're we're focused on where the gold is now, the most gold where the mines are. But but we have great uh, ability to extend any deposit that we find. Next slide, please. Okay, this just shows the geological setting. Uh, you know, I'm not a geologist, but we have some of the top geologists and uh, top uh, uh, experts in Brazil. And, uh, you know, you could, we can get you more information on that if you want uh, as a follow-up. Next, please, slide. Okay, now this is a CBM team. This is the property we, people we optioned the property from. Ken Johnson, you know, who's uh, uh, very experienced in uh, Brazil. Uh, his co he owns a company, he's involved in a company that has the largest diamond mine in South America. This, they have diamond properties 30 minutes from our Allegra Gold project. So through Ken and the CBM team, 
we have boots on the ground. We have geologists and experts right now that have been doing exploration and setting up for this airborne, which uh, we're getting a quote on right now. And uh, CBM is handling, uh, operating on this, and they have a fantastic team. This team is also uh, the team for their big gold company, or I'm sorry, the diamond company, sorry. And it's a fantastic team. So think of these as an extension of the management team of Brass Can Gold in Brazil. We have the best of the best. We can get government permits. We can get environmental licenses, taxation concerns, whatever dealings with government, we have the people that can get to the people at the top and get things done with government and get things done on the property very efficiently. Next slide. Okay, now here we come to the Newfoundland gold rush. Now the advantage of Newfoundland in Canada, it's a highly safe jurisdiction. There's rule of law in Canada. Um, I was born in Canada in Vancouver uh, many years ago. Uh, I'm 65 now. I've been in this business for 40 years. And I wanna tell you the exciting Newfoundland. Now, the Fraser Institute has said that Newfoundland the province of Newfoundland is one of the top 10 mining jurisdictions in the world. And they're right. In Newfoundland, the government gives you money. If, we, if you do work, they give you as a JEA program or Juniors uh, Exploration Assistance Program, where they'll give you some money, uh, getting permits, everything. They want to employ the people of Newfoundland. And the bottom line, the government also wants to find a new source of tax revenue. Uh, and I know. Nobody likes taxes, but you know what? First, you have to have the money to tax. So I believe there's going to be a huge mining industry that's going to grow. Right now, uh, 30 companies are in there, including ourselves, and in excess of $350 million has been raised in the last 12 to 18 months to explore for mineral deposits in Newfoundland. Next uh, slide, please. Okay. We have two properties. This is called the Middle Arm property. And you see where it says Middle Arm. Uh, that is next to the Hammerdown uh, Silver property. And it's, it's uh, 650 hectares uh, and easily accessible. And uh, it's near a company called Maritime Resources as well. And the, this area is called the Bay Vert Peninsula, which means green, Green Bay in French. And this area, I believe, and all my uh, people in Newfoundland believe is the best area to, to explore and discover a major uh, mineral deposit. It can be gold, copper, and whatever, because there's been a history of mining in this jurisdiction. The infrastructure there, there's a deep uh, port and also roads right to the property, power, port facilities, uh, mining services, as well as a skilled workforce. So think about it. If you're in the middle of this province, even if you have a deposit, what is it going to cost, to, to the economic cost to make it a mine? Well, the best location is Bay Vert. Bay Vert, the northern part of the island, the Bay Vert Peninsula. And we are focusing on getting properties here. And uh, we're working on getting several more properties, which uh, hopefully we can announce in the next uh, week or two. Uh, we're working on that, negotiating. But uh, that's the area that we want to focus on is Bay Verde. And this property is 30 kilometers south. We're preparing a, a program for it, which we're going to put together. Again, it's going to be uh, pre-drilling work to get it ready to, uh, to drill in the summer. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, the Black Cat property, if you see, it's, it's right next to the Maritime uh, Resources, the Whisker uh, Valley property, which they're doing millions and millions of dollars of drilling. It's, it's, uh, we we're lucky to get an adjacent property with uh, the same or similar geology. And, um, you know, again, we want to get uh, our uh, uh, exploration program in place which would be uh, preliminary work to, to get targeting and then drilling. We'll be drilling on both of these properties 
in the summertime because it, it's in winter now. So uh, this will be later. Now, the advantage of being in Brazil is brass can gold can uh, explore year round because of the weather in Brazil. So we are in a great jurisdiction in Canada. And we also uh, we also are in Brazil where you can work year round. So there's going to be year round news. And uh, hopefully with all our expertise of our people, uh, great discoveries of uh, resource deposits in Newfoundland and in Brazil. Next slide, please. Uh, I already told you about exploration. Next slide, please. Okay, like I say, the proposed program is uh, IP, geophysics, soil soil sampling, line cutting, trenching, prospecting, mapping. This is all be done to get to the second phase, as you can see, which is a major drill program of 3,500 3, meters. Next slide, please. Okay, now I believe, and I certainly think you do, it's people first. Like who are the people who are involved and leading? Well, uh, I started this company two years ago because I believed that gold was going to go much higher. And we've been working to this company for years. We're not uh, uh, one hit wonder that all of a sudden come from nowhere. Now, uh, my background is I've been at this for 40 years, a retired securities lawyer. And uh, I've, been, I've been involved in taking about 20, 25 companies public over 40 years. Uh, and uh, I'm 65, but I still have lots of energy. I'm very excited and motivated and determined to make Brass Camp one of the great success stories of this year. Okay, and next we have uh, Dr. Bernhard Klein. Now he is the ex-head of mining at UBC, the mining department. And he's been a professor there for over 25 years. Every year, 25 PhD students and master students graduate uh, in the department. And these are people from all over the world. So Dr. Klein has people working in the industry in China, Mongolia, uh, South America, North America, Europe, Africa, Asia. So uh, he has tremendous connections. He works and does consulting work for many uh, mining companies, major mining companies like Hud Bay. And he is a, a metallurgist, a mining engineer, and obviously a, a, an expert at mining, but he wrote his uh, a lot of papers on mine development, small mines, big mines, and particularly in gold. And, uh, you know, he's uh, still a professor there, but he's dedicated him, himself to this company because he believes that uh, we're doing the right thing and he wants to be part of a big success story. And he is a key person because he can not only tell us whether a property, we can build a plant on it or whether we can, you know, uh, the resource potential. We have exploration geologists and we have an engineer like Bernie. So we can cover uh, exploration discoveries and also uh, gold mining. So this is fantastic. And he built a technology called MindSense, MindSense, which has raised historically $100 million is, is a commercial product used by five major mining companies. So we're very excited to have him. Eric Warren is a senior lawyer. Uh, he's been around for 30, 40 years. He's been on many companies and he's, he's a steady one. He's the one, you know, he's a lawyer. He makes sure that everything is, is done properly. The I's are dotted, the T's are crossed. Jeff Balderson, our CFO, has been in the business for over 20, 30 years. I used to work with his father many years ago, two, three decades ago. So now I'm working with the son. He's an expert in, in public companies and uh, filings, all that sort of stuff. He's involved in 20, 30 companies and has a corporate services that keeps all the public filings in good standing. Nicole Laxon, corporate sector over 20 years. She, she is a Canadian of Asian descent. And man, without her, it would be very hard to do this. She's our quarterback. She does everything related to securities, uh, you name it, she does it. And probably she's the most important person in our corporate secretary, I would say. And Vivian is an independent director. She's a director of a company called Acme Resources in Lithium. And that's trading about $1.20. And she's an expert in administration. She's an ex-broker. 
and she's I've known her for 25 years. So the team I've known for a long time, and they're all good people. But that's not just our team. We have the uh, CBM people. And next slide, please. Uh, okay. And Ken Johnson is on our advisor board. You know about him. Next slide, please. Okay. This is our share structure. We have 20 million shares on. Uh, uh, we've got uh, market compilation of 1300 and we, uh, we've got $2 million in cash that we just raised. So we have the management, minerals, gold, and the money. And if you want to invest, we have the subscription agreement. We're closing tomorrow, 30 cents, and the stock is trading at 50 cents a day. We believe that Brass Can Gold will be one of the biggest winners uh, on the Canadian Stock Exchange this year. And the timing is perfect from a gold point of view. Gold is going up. I believe timing is everything. And it's time to invest in brass can gold. Thank you. Thank you, Wilbur. Maybe just uh, in time, because uh, we went out of time, just squeezing one last question here from Kevin. Kel Kelvin here is asking, what are the catalysts in the news in uh, this year for brass can? OK, the catalysts are this. We are starting a drill program on the Allegra property. Uh, we're starting to, uh, in a couple of months, drill. So that, that's a big catalyst. Uh, we are also uh, preparing in a month or two the uh, Newfoundland properties and drilling there this summer. In terms of expiration, there's going to be lots of news going into the summer and now. So it, it, it's going to be, that's going to be very exciting. Also, we're going to be acquiring other additional assets now that we've raised billions of dollars. And that could be acquisitions in, in Brazil. And I'm talking about three or four acquisitions of very good properties uh, reviewed by our geologists in, in, in Newfoundland. So expect more acquisitions in both countries. Expect lots of drilling. And, uh, and also, we're looking for gold resources as well to acquire and uh, resources where you can build a mine. A uh, small mine that can bring cash flow for brass can gold. Thank you, Bavir. So I have to let you go. We're now of time. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me, everybody. Happy Chinese New Year. Thank you.